Greetings, science maximites. Today, we're gonna be talking about, whoa, balance, or what you call balance in science, which is center of gravity. Now, the center of gravity is a place you can find in any object where it's equally balanced on all sides. I balance this spoon on the eraser of this pencil, and where the spoon is balancing is its center of gravity. But if I take this little tiny dime and put it in the spoon, it doesn't balance anymore. But if I put the dime in this spoon and balance it in a different spot, I can find the new center of gravity and the spoon balances again. Here's another experiment you can do. Take a potato and a ruler or a stick. Try to balance the potato on the ruler. I'm gonna save us both a lot of time. It's really hard to do. The potato does have a center of gravity, but because of its shape, it's going to be really hard to find and really hard to balance. But if you take some forks and you stick them into the potato, you're no longer just trying to balance the potato, you have to balance the forks and the potato. And it gives it a very different center of gravity, which makes it a little bit easier to find and a little bit easier to balance. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's take a closer look at how the center of gravity works using our potato. No, that's too close. Back off a little bit. Okay, good. If you want to find where the center of gravity is, you can hang an object and draw a line straight down. Then hang it from a different spot and draw another line. Do this one or two more times and you can see where the lines meet is the center of gravity. If our potato was balanced on a stick, the center of gravity is a long way from the stick. So it's going to be pretty hard to balance. Now, let's stick some forks in the potato and try again. One line there, a line there, and a line there. And you can see that the lines all come together down here. That's right, the center of gravity doesn't have to be on the object. With the center of gravity way down there, when we try to balance the potato and the forks on the stick, you can see the center of gravity is much closer to the stick. That makes it way easier to balance. Now, because you're science maximites, I'm sure you know that a potato and forks is just the beginning. Everything you have in your house has a center of gravity, which means, theoretically, you can balance anything. Try it yourself. Find things around the house and see if you can get them to balance. And if you can't, try adding things to increase the center of gravity and make it a little bit easier. 